G'day, AO analyst Craig O'Shaughnessy here. Well, the wait is over, the great man is back. Tonight on Rod Laver Arena, we're going to witness Roger Federer back at the Australian Open. He's the 17th seed. He's taking on world number 300, Jürgen Melzer, in the opening round. If Jürgen Melzer is going to upset Roger Federer, he's going to tap into the classic lefty patterns of play that Rafael Nadal has employed so successfully against Federer. The first is what I like to call the backhand cage. That lefty forehand preying on Roger Federer's backhand through the ad court, making him hit repeated backhands in a rally, breaking it down, forcing errors. And the second is a pattern of play I call the 2-1, which is a deep forehand cross court to Federer's backhand, then taking him wide through the ad court, and that opens up a hole in the juice court for the winner. So Roger Federer's forehand is more efficient standing in the ad court as a runaround than it is on the run out wide in the juice court. So the 2-1 pattern, deep to the backhand, wide to the backhand, opening up the hole to the forehand side is a great strategy, as well as the backhand cage. Here's what to look for when Roger Federer is serving. His favorite pattern in the juice court is the slider out wide. He'll go there more at love all than he will at 30 love, where he'll change it up and go down the tee. What he also likes to do is follow that serve up with a forehand with a play that I call serve plus one. Go back to the 2012 Wimbledon final where he beat Andy Murray. In that final, he served 26 times out wide in the juice court. When the ball came back, he hit 24 forehands as the first shot after the serve, and he won 22 of those points. So look for the wide serve in the juice, the wide serve in the ad, and when he gets ahead in the score, he's far more likely to go at the body and right down the middle. It's going to be fascinating to see if Roger Federer can start 2017 in full flight. From the back of the court, in the ad court, he likes to hit run around forehand. So Melzer will be playing through the ad court, taking his forehand to Federer's backhand. Roger won't want any part of that. He'll be looking to hit run around forehands in the ad court. And if he can do that well, Roger should advance. One important thing to consider is that Jürgen Melzer has come through qualifying to make the main draw. He's already got three matches under his belt. So even though I think Roger Federer gets through this match, I think Jürgen Melzer gets a set, and it's going to be a very entertaining night on Rod Laver Arena.